place in the OFC Men's Olympic Qualifier 2023 final between the Solomon Islands and Fiji. And it was Fiji who would strike first through their captain, Tony Adongalao, left unmarked outside the six-yard box. And it was a header past Junior Petua. And if you give a striker the quality of Dongalao an opportunity like that, he will take it. And it was advantage Fiji. Well, their chances were continuing to come for Fiji. This time it was Aparosa Yanda. The fast feet of Nabil Beg. He saw the run of Yanda and it skimmed over the top of the Solomon Islands crossbar. A great connection from Yanda. Solomon Islands were on the ropes. They came out in the second half with improved efforts. And this strike from Ido Dao was parried away by the eventual man of the match, Aidan Mustaib. It was dipping in. And Mustaib got a good connection. Now the goalkeeper didn't know much about that header from Junior Rocky. And the follow-up was cleared away for a corner. BG repelled chance after chance from set piece for the Solomon Islands. Eddie Marahare was left to rue the opportunities. This one here bounced invitingly only for Mustaib to tip the ball over the bar. And the sucker punch would come for Fiji. And it was that same combination of Nabil Big and Etonia Dongalao. A great delivery inside the six yard box. And the big striker was the first to react, punching it home past Junior Petua. And the Solomon Islands goal to send Fiji two to the good. And just before the final whistle, a third goal was to come. And it was Brendan McMullen. You can see him creeping in. He got a connection on it. And eventually it crept over the line. Junior Petua came a long way. Wasn't able to make a connection. And Fiji advanced to the final three goals to nil winners over the Solomon Islands.